it's chilly out but today is gonna be a busy farm chore day since I moved the emus from their brooder to the red barn uh, let's go check So just a quick recap, if you remember, these two used to be in a brooder inside the house. But now, after day five, I think it's time for them to go join the rest of the flock, at least with the juveniles. So today is going to be just an observation day, how they are assimilating with the rest of the juveniles and see to it that there's not going to be a problem with the temperature outside but i'll make sure that they have the heater the heat plate outside just in case there is an issue Here, with temperature still... <laughs> not done cleaning up but i'm happy with the interaction i'm seeing <sighs> so the silkies are still underneath there i may have to move that seat that chair right there and I'm gonna have to clean that hose it off and here comes Henry again just a quick reminder from our sponsor today mr. Henry the cute goat who thinks he's a horse thank you Henry for sponsoring our show today As you can see, they're all on this side right here. So I'm gonna move the camera so you can see what's going on on this side. It's a polish. They're trying to get away from the emus. So there they are. Whoa. Aki and Camilla are right over there. Enjoying their freedom. So we're getting there. I took out the chair out. I took out the chair and look, there's more space. So I'm using this premium poultry bedding and it has um, diatomaceous earth right there. Where does it say that? And zeolite. So this is a good stuff. Um, it's a little uh, price. It's a little bit more than the regular bedding, but for these guys, I'll go an extra mile. All right, let me just put the camera down and get started. All right, let's get started, Max. Leave 
camera alone. Camille. <laughs> Everyone likes the VM camera. All right. So it is starting to rain outside. So instead of using hay, I chose this because I would imagine the the bay supplier. Uh, his bays are all wet by now. Smells really good. It actually smells good. Mm. And I'm gonna put some right there also. Spread them out, Aki. Also, gonna add hay that way they can enjoy eating it too. So, right now they're interacting with each other just fine. The emus have assimilated with the flock. Pretty happy about the situation here in the Red Barn. So originally this place was um, was used as a greenhouse and then it became a storage, sh uh, storage shed. And now it is for the juveniles, the juvenile chicks that I have for silkies and polish, but hey, I can see that you're trying to destroy the insulation. I don't like that. I don't appreciate that. But eventually, it's just going to be for the emus. So. And then, when they're big enough, they can... Camille, it's okay. Oh my goodness, Miss Silky. I think I need to get their own dish. Because I think the Silkies are getting tired of sharing with the emus. See how nice the emus are. See how nice Camille is? She's waiting for her turn to eat. But I will get you your own, Camille. Don't you worry. And even Aki right here. She's waiting for her turn. Whoa! <laughs> Be nice! Okay, I'm gonna go and grab some food for them. Oh, here. I got more food, but she prefer my shoes. She prefers my shoes. And let's see if they'll figure out that there's a new bowl in here, a new dish. But Magda's enjoying it. 
Camille, are you okay? Camille, I'm right here. Hey, stop. Come here. It's okay, Camille. Magda's nice. Come, baby. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to get your heater so that you're all set up for tonight. If you decide you're going to stay here for the night or if mama will take you back in, okay? So I'm gonna keep checking on them. If they look like they're cold, then I'm definitely gonna bring the heater right away. Otherwise, I'll wait till later. He figures it out. Hi, Kami. And that's it for now. I'll now give you more updates on the emus. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you like this one. Bye-bye.